Johnny! Hey, wait, 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 why don't you get me a partner that'll spar? Jeff, you know no spar partner'll get in a ring, would you? The minute they're in, they're out. Yeah, I'm pretty tough, I guess. Well, you'll hit that kid from the west side so hard, you'll knock it from the north side to the south side. Get in there and give him a few rounds. I gotta hey, get bicycle sleep. rider. Get up on your feet. All right, but take it easy, Muggs. You know I'm your pal. Just throw a few jabs at me. That's what I gotta rehearse with. All right, take it easy, Bill. Hey, come on. Come hey, on, lay into him. Hey, hey. Cut out the fifty clubs, especially you, Muggs. Uh -huh. I want to rehearse a little more. He's got a very important fight tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah, I know, but listen here. There's a brand new pool player down at Nick's. Boy, he's just loaded with that stuff called money. And buddy, he's just dying for somebody to come and take it away from him. Easy pickings, huh? Yes, man. What's the lad's name? I didn't get his name, but it sounds like something like uh, Harry somebody. Look, I want you to go in and fight a couple of more rounds. Yeah, yeah, I want you in shape tomorrow night. Muggs is in great shape. You're in great shape, aren't you, Muggs? Shut up, cock. I am the manager. I'll tell him when he's in shape. Put the goggle in, Glimpy. The fight's tomorrow night. The ready cash is waiting now. Besides, a fighter needs some rest and relaxation, don't he? Boys, get my pool room formal. How'd you put on your oh, silk shape on? Hey, Danny's got that phony chalk. Where is Danny, anyway? You ought to know Ivy's your sister. First thing you know, Danny will be your brother-in-law. <laughs> Anybody that marries my sister has to lick me first. Still haven't got that right. Will you show me how you do it? Here. Hey, kids, why don't you put this in your routine? Hey, Danny! Hey, what's cooking up there? Maybe he's up there doing a Kazatsky with your sister. Kazatsky, my front plates. Hey, Danny! How you doing? I think so. This will be good. Let's try it. Okay. Hey, Danny! Hi, Muggs. Hi, fellas. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Just practice enough for the big dance contest. Come on up and watch us. No, Pablo. Will you come down? I want to practice up on you a little bit. Okay. I'll be right down. Yeah, leave Ivy there. Boy's got a brilliant future. Swell fella. We'll have to finish our practicing later, Ivy. I got to go with the fellas. Okay, Danny. So long. So long. I wonder what's keeping that great hero I heard so much about. He'll be here. Muggs can hear that money jingle in your pockets miles away. Hey, Muggs! Get a load of that! Uh, don't cover it up. That's the way I like to see it. My name first. Yeah, but that makes you the challenger. Just a natural born point killer, ain't you? You know, my father once had his name on a thing like that. Yeah, wanted. Dead or alive. Reward. Two cents. Hey, Muggs! Muggs! Your man was in there waiting. Pardon me, Slim. Man, he sure looks anxious. Sure you got that chalk, Danny? Yeah, but you won't need it, Muggs. You can beat him on the level. There's no percentage in that. When I give you the signal, you change that chalk. Hi, Nick. How's the trust fund? Hello, boys. Hello there, sucker. So you're the champ around here, huh? That's me. How'd you like a few lessons? I might condescend to teach you the finer points of the game for a nominal consideration. Yeah, even for money. Your line of chatter is very impressive, Jack. Your name is Muggs. I'm sorry. Muggs. What do you say we just play a nice sociable game for about five bucks? What are you going to use for money? Cigar store coupons? You'll have to talk to my treasurer about that. Don't worry, I'll see that you get your money. What am I saying? Go ahead, grab a cue. I don't need no cue, I'll kick him in. Hey, Scruno, get my weapon. Solid. Don't forget, when I give you the high sign, remember that chalk. All right. This will be brutal. I don't want no handicaps. Let's toss for the break. Sure. Okay, uh, got a coin? Uh, nothing but big bills here. What do you cry? Heads. You break. Did I say heads? Yeah, you said heads. Here's your artillery, Muggs. Thanks, Bruno. Watch this shot. <laughs> a little safety I taught Greenleaf. <whistles> Go ahead. Shoot, mister. Great shot. Where'd you learn that one? You better get that dough ready, McGinnis. 
I sink these next four balls, you're through. You ain't got them yet. What are you stalling for? His luck will run out soon, Muggs. Then he can win on the level. Don't give me that routine. Change that chalk as fast as you can. Nice stroke, kid. This is game ball, you know. Yeah? Where's it going? Down the end. Optimistic, aren't you? Yeah. Come on, get clear, will you? Keep your eye on it, fellas. Well, that's it. Come on, pay off. Thanks, Danny. I should make you pay the five. Come on, where's the dough? What dough? That was just a practice game. That's all, just a practice game, wasn't it? Yeah, I heard it with my own eyes. I heard him. Practice game, huh? You're pretty brave with this gang around here. Come on, get that dough up. What dough? The five bucks. You want the five, huh? Yeah, I want the five. How about these five? Oh, oh, kid, you're not in condition. Oh. I'll see you later. Hey, look, how about my money? Just put it in a book, I'll trust you. Gee, I'm sorry, fella. He just lost his temper. Don't worry, he won't get away with this. He's not so tough. And I'll get my money, too. I hope that fella I'm fighting tonight falls up that easy. Oh, forget about it. He's okay. You'll get your dough. Darn right I'll get my dough. Look at Danny in there talking to that pool shark. I bet they're in cahoots. Hey, fellas, uh, who's going to pay for that game? Well, Mug said he'd trust you for it, didn't he? That's right. He did say that. He's honest, that boy. You shouldn't have hit him, Muggs. He wasn't set. He wasn't set, huh? Why didn't you change that chalk? Well, I... Well, I what? You're yellow. That's why you didn't change it. I'm not yellow. I thought you could win on the level. You know, I'm beginning to figure something out. Why I won a championship last year and you were just a runner-up. Because you haven't got what it takes, that's why. You won that on the square, didn't you? Ah, uh, stop beating around the bush. I'm leaving, fellas. This jellyfish is giving me indigestion. You work me. The one thing I can't stand is a nerd. Dog races? Nah, nah, we ain't got any more dog races. The rabbit died. All right. All right. What's on your mind, kid? I got a tip for you, Tony. You got a tip for me, huh? You know an amateur championship fight tomorrow night, east side versus west side? Now, don't tell me you're giving me a tip on McGinnis. We're betting McGinnis on the nose. Yeah, but you're giving odds. What are you driving at? Suppose I tell you I got a way of keeping that McGinnis out of the ring tomorrow night. All right, McGinnis, don't show up. What about the switch in the yard? If I know that neighborhood and that west side kid, Johnson, your money will be riding the town betting against the east side. Sounds wacky, but maybe he's got some. Maybe he has. Now, here's what I'll need for my end of the deal. There's three things we got to get, see? That's the one that's gonna get him, Ma. You know, this is just the way I'm gonna look when I come home tonight. Untouched by human hands. That's the spirit, son. You sure you don't wanna go, Ma? There ain't gonna be no blood, much. No, I think I'll stay and listen to the radio. Danny and I'll be right there rooting for you, Mug. I mean, hooting for me, don't you? I may be a little late, Ma. You, you know, speeches and testimonials and stuff like that. How about a little kiss for luck? Thanks. I sure hope Muggs wins. What do you mean, hope? And McGinnis never lost a fight. That's right. Hold it, McGinnis. What's the beef, Chief? Publicity picture. Oh, pictures, huh? Well, let's get a good pose. I'm from the bulletin, McGinnis. I figure I'm taking a few pictures before you win tonight. You know, once you get to the arena, the newspaper men and the cameramen, why, they'll steal you right away. So I figured I'd get a couple in front of your house. That's for the newspapers, huh? Sure, the bullet. See that sign up there? Yeah. Muggs McGinnis bus Hank Johnson. Yeah. We'll focus that right in the middle of your land. And let's get a good picture. Okay, anything you say, champ. I'll show you how I'm going to look after I win this fight. Are you ready? Hold it now. Well, I must my hair a little bit. Okay, here it goes. Oh, when my mother sees that picture, will she be proud? Hey, what paper did you say you were from? Bullen, we'd like to get an interview. You know one of those things. Dynamite McGinnis tells reporter how he expects to knock out Johnson. Oh, you mean kind of an autobiographical, huh? That's it. 
Well, Mr. Dynamite. Say, listen, kid, I got a Mr. great Dynamite. idea. Mr. Dynamite. Mr. Dynamite. That's me. That's you. Say, listen, I got a great idea. How about riding over to the arena in style on the company's Jeep? In the meantime, you can tell me the background of your whole life. Do you want the dramatic highlights or just a little personal touches? Anything you care to say. All right, that's great. We'll start from the beginning. Okay, step in, Chief. Arena, Joe. Murphy Harris, same paper. Meet Muggs McGinnis, the greatest fighter on the east side. Hello, kid. What's new, shorty? Well, Muggsy, how about telling us something about yourself? When I was three months old, I run away from home. Six months later, I come back, my father took one look at me, and he run away from home. <laughs> All kidding aside, when did you first start fighting? I started when I was very young. I won my first 18 fights by knockouts. Then they took my brass knuckles away. Scrap metal. <laughs> 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 hey, what's the idea? We ain't going to the arena. What are those blinds down for? Haven't you heard? This car's having a dim out. You can't get away with this. Let me up. You should try to be more cooperative, champ. Relax. We're gonna let you in on a little treat. Listen, there's 10 million people down there tonight that paid to see me fight. I gotta get there, you understand? They'll see a fight, all right. But you won't be in it. And after them has a good right. That was a pretty good fight, wasn't it? Yeah, boy, well, you see the next one. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Hey, Danny, you want it in the dressing room right away. What for? Don't ask questions. Just come on. Go ahead, Danny. That substitute of yours isn't here in three minutes. We're going to have to disqualify the East Side kids. Hey, Glimpy, why don't you go in? Who, me? I'm not in shape. Is that him? Yeah. yeah. OK, thanks. What's going on? Ah, uh, Muggs got lost somewhere. So you got to go in and fight for him. Me? I'm not in shape. Uh-uh, I said that first. What do you got to worry about? You was runner-up, wasn't you? You can't get hurt. Look, if you're not in there within three minutes, we get disqualified. Take the clothes off. Come on, will you? Hey, Joe, go out and explain to Ivy, will you? Right away. How long we got? Oh, about three minutes. Come on, get on the table. I'll give you a rub down fast. Don't get in my face. Ivy, Muggs didn't show up. Danny's got to go on in his place. Well, where is Muggs? He left the house in time. I don't know. We haven't heard a word from him. Hey, maybe he had an accident. Danny can't go in there and fight. He's not in condition. Oh, look, Ivy, it's only four rounds. He can't get hurt much. Much? He was runner-up last year, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh. Turn on the radio, Joe. Eh, uh, save the electricity. That fight will be forfeited just like you guys want. Shut up. I want to listen to the fight. That fight? There ain't going to be no fight unless I'm in there. You all right, Danny? Yeah, I guess I'm okay. Well, just don't worry about it. If anything happens, I'll be right in there with that water bucket. Water bucket? What are you, an air raid warden? Gee, I wish I was in there fighting. I shall never get my first fight. Never forget my last fight. Same fight. Don't worry, I'm gonna win this fight. That's the spirit, kid. Just go in there. Keep swinging, keep swinging. In case you don't hit the guy, the breeze might give him pneumonia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Four rounds of boxing in this corner. And representing the West Side, battling Hank Johnson. <laughs> and in this corner, from Muggsy McGinnis, and representing the East Side, young Danny Lyon. They can't do that. They can't substitute Take me. Take it easy, Mr. Dynamite. You're not in the ring tonight. I get it. Danny paid you guys to snatch me tonight just so he could fight. Huh? Is that it? What's the matter? Don't you think Mr. Lyons can win? Win? He'll be hanging on those ropes so much tonight that people will think he's a yo-yo. Pretty smart kid, though, don't you think? Sure, sure. He's smart. Very smart. Here, all the time he's been associating with you cheap snipers, and I never knew nothing about him. That's what I mean about being smart. Now, you boys know all the rules. Make a nice, clean fight of it. Keep all your punches up. In case of a knockdown, go to the farthest neutral corner. Shake hands and come out fighting. Hey, Rep, in case Danny gets knocked down, which corner does he go to? Well, this is it. Up your... 
boys move around cautiously. Watch that left. Ooh, ooh, I wish it was in there. Ooh, I wish it was in there. Well, why didn't you get in there when you had a chance? Ooh, am I glad I'm not in there. Stop crying. Yeah. Listen to me, you'll be a fighter. You know, you're ruining my, my reputation. I'm sick of this. Get in there and keep clear. Keep your head. Lines comes out, barely able to keep his hand up. Johnson, cool, ready for the kill, steps around smartly. See that? Lions jipped his way into that ring tonight. Now he's getting just what's coming to him. But that ain't nothing compared to what's going to happen to him when I get out of this overcrowded bus. He isn't doing so well. He'll come around once he gets used to being in there. just seemed to step out of a tramp. Lines lands a vicious hook to Wildcat's right eye. Hey, what goes on? You got me. Give him a left. Give him a right. Give him a right. Johnson is down. He's down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, can you picture that? He must have hit him with a stool. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner. Danny Lyons will receive the coveted amateur boxing belt. It'll take you ten years to work this off. And you start tomorrow. Sensational, champ. Oh, oh boy, you're really good from the ringside. Oh, oh, man, you hit that man. guy so hard with that bolo, they're still counting over him. Well, that mugs be surprised. I'm not very surprised. Muggs, where have you been? What happened to you? I've been around. Don't worry, we won the championship. Gee, Muggs, when you didn't show up, well, we didn't know what to do, so... I get... said, all right, kid. My friends took very good care of me. My friends? What are you talking about? Might as well tell you, fellas. Danny fixed it up so he could fight tonight instead of me. Oh, Muggs, you're wrong. Why? Yeah, uh, playing dumb, huh? Don't you figure this out all by yourself? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I wouldn't do a thing like that. No, you wouldn't do it, but you hired a couple of palookas to take me for a ride until this fight was over. Hey, is he making with the truth? Is that on the level? Hey, what goes on? Muggs, you're wrong. You gotta believe me you're yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, I know. Incidentally, this belt belongs to me. Okay, Muggs. What about the car and those guys? Yeah, you I know, you never heard nothing about it. Of course, you know I'm still champ around here. Sure, Muggs, we... Well, just to prove it. 
Hey, wait a minute. 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 Hello, Mr. Gander. Congratulations, Danny. You were great tonight. Thank you. We heard the whole thing in the radio. Where's the belt you won? Oh, the belt? You won it, didn't you? Yeah, I, I won it. But I lost it. Lost it? Where? How could you lose it? I'll, I'll tell you all about it later, Mom. Sure, Danny. Oh, by the way, one of my boys left for the Army this afternoon. You can have the job tomorrow. Gee, that's swell, Mr. Gendick. I'll be there first thing in the morning. Good night, Mrs. Lange. Good night, Mr. Gendick. Good night, Danny. Good night, sir. Danny, what about the belt? Well, I, I didn't exactly lose it, Mom. The east side has it. The east side has it? Well, I gave it to Muggs. If I didn't, it would have meant a brawl. Mom, why don't you let me go out and teach him a lesson? Danny, as long as I live, I will never have a son of mine fighting on the streets. But, Mom... You Everything's getting heavy. Let's park. Halt. Hey, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, meet the new champ, Muggs McGinnis. Muggs is going to hit Danny Lyons so hard, they're going to count him out in the air. He's going to give him a mushroom nose, a cauliflower ear. In fact, he's going to make him the only kid in this block with a built-in victory garden. He's so tough, he told Joe Lewis where to get off. He told Joe Lewis where to get off. Are you kidding? Well, they were riding on the same streetcar. Oh. <laughs> what do you say, champ? It's a pleasure to stand up here and look down at all these smiling and intelligent faces. Now, don't you folks think the phony champ ought to come out and fight like a real man? Yes. Yeah. Well, then call him. Daddy! That's the matter with you. You're trying to make yourself conspicuous? Now, call him conservatively. Take it easy, champ. I don't want you to bruise that hand. You're fighting next week. Muggs McGinnis beat it. Not till Danny comes down. I want to give him a little lesson in pugilistic art. He's working. Working, huh? Whose baby cash is he pushing now? Go and find out for yourself. Go over to Louis Gendick's garage. Gendick's? Sir, that mooch is muscling on my territory again. You know how long ago I was promised that job? How long? Six months, 180 days. What are you going to do about it? It ain't going to be pleasant to watch. Give me the crown, champ. Stoney, skinny, take this back to Jordan Pet. Right. right. Thanks very much. Come back again. Hi, fellas, what's cooking? Still crawling in front of me, huh? Last night you fixed it so I can't make the fight. Now you take the job that I was supposed to have. Not in a million years, McGinnis. Your memory must be depreciating, Gendick. You promised me this job. Sure, I remember. But when I put anybody to work around here, I want a gentleman, not an irresponsible ne'er-do-well like you. Since when do you call this double-crosser a gentleman? On your way, troublemaker. Come on, fellas, the atmosphere is getting a little dense around here. Why don't you two guys go play ping pong with a time bomb? If he was my son, I'd give him an old-fashioned talking to right over my knee. Sometimes I can't figure, Muggs. I wonder if he could take the same kind of medicine he dishes out. Yes, sir. Oh, it's you. Hi. Hello, champ. What do you want, regular or ethyl? <laughs> What's so funny? You cost me some dough last night, and incidentally, you can thank me for getting you that ring. What? You yeah. mean... Yeah, yeah, I finally got in with mugs. Cost me some dough, but it was worth it. How many gallons you want? Make it three, and here's my ration book. And don't be so gloomy. Don't forget, Danny's names is going to be stricken from the records. He's out of the club intimately, ultimately, and forever. Why don't I get his next year's dues first? Hi there, maybe there, huh? Never mind his next year's dues. He's out right now, presently, henceforth, etc. Oh, you're a big man, aren't you? Oh. Check the oil? No, here. Thanks. I'll be seeing you, champ. Oh, Mr. Gendick. 
Could I take about 10 minutes off? Why, sure, Danny. Thanks a lot. As of the 15th instinct of the month, quote. Hey, how do you spell as of? As of? I don't know. Strike it from the records. I, as the president of this club, hereby alone unanimously ostracize Danny Lyons from this club. And if he knows what's good for him, he won't come around anymore. Hey, Chairman at Arms, see who that is. Maybe right somebody trying to break the lease. Now, with all the good news comes a little bad. So hey, Mo, it's Danny. Never heard of him. Come on, I've please. just been advised that Muggs would not enjoy the pleasure of your company. Well, I'm still a member of this gang. Tells you not to let him in here. I don't set him front. Listen to me, Muggs, and the rest of you fellas. What you do? Come over here to cry on my shoulders? I didn't come down here to cry on anybody's shoulder. I have an idea that Harry Wyckoff was behind that whole mess last night. Sure he was. You and Harry worked together. Oh, you're crazy. Well, the last time I saw Harry was at the... Was at the pool room. And now I know why you didn't switch that shark like I told her. You wanted Harry to win. Well, Muggs, you've got to believe me. I'm on the square with you. No, I think I know why you came down here. It's in kind of Ivy. Ivy, what's she got to do with it? She's got a lot to do with it. Just in case you thought I didn't want you two going out together. Well, you'd come down here and try to worm your way out of this thing, just like you're doing now. Mugs, you don't even give me a chance. I ain't giving away no chances. And fight them all. Stay away from my sister. Well, I'll see you tonight, Mr. Clinkhammer. OK, Danny. Well, hello, boys. Hi. Hiya, Clinky. Uh, it's Clinkhammer. OK, sink handle. Hey, with a clear track fast. Looks like a Mickey Finn with fuzz on it. Man, look at that head of beautiful skin. <laughs> Every time I look at it, I want to put it on my finger and ask start bowling. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Well, I suppose you boys all have your partners for the big dance tonight. I don't need yeah. no partner. I can win it alone. I got a dame that's solid, Z-O-I-L-T. Hey, look, are you going to give Wes more of that counterfeit money? I certainly am. C counterfeit? Why, my money's good. Always has been. Yeah, the last time he gave me a five Lincoln was winking. Well, look, boys, I got to go now. I got to pay a little social call on your folks, you know. <laughs> well, I'm off. You're not kidding. <laughs> you are off. <laughs> See you later, Clinky. If clothes make the man, you've got a long way to go, son. See <laughs> you <laughs> later. <laughs> Step down, sir. Yeah, Milky. Keep the change. Thank you, sir. Hi, Mr. Scruno. Fine, how are you, fellas? Hi, Pop. Hi, Ray. Where you been, to a Turkish bath? This shall get in a shine. Gotta look neat once in a while, don't I? Take over. Yeah, I'm only hip to what you're talking about. Hey, Jackson, you know that shop you just shined up? Yeah. Well, who's that big colloquial he's talking to in there? He's a friend of my boss. He works here. Hey, Muggs, maybe Danny was right. Sure, maybe he was right, but that still don't prove he didn't have nothing to do with it. Look, you kids, if anything's cooking on your brains, don't do it around here. And for you, my little Eclipse, you take over while I go home and see your mama. Give me a shine, Look boy. Look here, Pop. I'm allergic to this polish. Hey, boy, give me a shine. Give you a shine. I'll polish you off, but quick if you don't get out of that chair. Let's See, you came around to pay off a little pool debt, huh? Yeah, we came around to pay off, all right. What do you want? Where's that young elephant you was just talking to? I didn't see nobody. Oh, you got astigmatism, huh? You paying much protection lately, Wyckoff? What's it to you? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. How much you lose on a fight last night? I think you lost a little more than I did, huh? How would you like to lose consciousness? What's the matter? Can't you take a little rib? Maybe laughing boy knows a little about this, huh? Look, fellas, this ain't no pool hall. Now get out of here before I call the cops. Call the cops? <laughs> That's a funny one. Go ahead and call them. We'll lead them right into that back room there and let them place a couple of bets. And speaking of bets, there's a couple of newspaper men back there that we're going to place a little parlay on. But I wouldn't bet them to win. What do you kids want in here? Oh, we just come around to renew acquaintances. Hello, kid. No, kid. So you remember me, huh? I thought you'd try to say you was a couple other guys. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. That lapse of memory. All right, outside. Get going. Sure, we'll get going. You hear what he says, fellas? Well, let's go. Give me a ball. Hey, I wonder what time the floor show goes on. What's Hatch's face doing up there? Where's the judge? Must be out to lunch. Gee, a lady judge. Next case, please. Benny Miller, Joe Collins, Harold Stone, Drippy McLeavy, 
Ethelbert McGuinness. Ethelbert McGuinness. Hey, Mark! Do people usually call you by that name, Muggs? No, that's because he's so homely. I mean, tough. Tough? Only my friends call me Muggs. I don't think you'd know a friend if you saw one. I'm his friend. Thanks, Glimp. I don't suppose any of you boys have got a job. A job? I worked once. I was a pin setter. What is a pin setter? They knock them down, I set them up. Gee, Judge, ain't you never bowled? Stop that. Oh, sorry, Miss... Uh... Your Honor, uh, didn't get much sleep last night. I can't see no point in discussing Glimpy's career. The issue is, are we going to the Who's Cow or ain't we? Whether I send you there or someone else does, eventually that's where you're going to wind up. I can't understand it. You boys are supposed to be good American citizens. While our soldiers are fighting for peace, you're disturbing it. There's 101 things that you can do to further the war effort. And I'm going to give you a chance to do it. Go on home and don't let me catch you back here again. Case dismissed. Thanks, Miss Judge. So long there, Charlie. Where do you think you're going? You said the case was dismissed. The case was dismissed for them. They were brought in here for disturbing the peace. You were brought in here for bookmaking. This is your second offense. How do you plead? Guilty. Six months each. Next case, please. I'll see you fellas later. I got a little date. Mox, can I go with you maybe, huh? No, nah, this is personal. Okay. Hey, fellas, you want to go over to the pool room, huh? Didn't you what that judge said? Hey, I wonder where he's going. Let's find out. Hey, Denny. I've had a change of disposition. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, Muggs is talking to Danny. Hey, what do you know about that? You can take Ivy to that dance tonight. Thanks, I appreciate that. That's nothing. Nothing at all. About that fight. I found out about Wyckoff. Oh, did he tell you how much I paid him for the job? Uh, right, so you wasn't in on it. That's just a lucky break for you, that's all. By the way, we're having a meeting tomorrow night. The last I heard, I was kicked out of the club. Yeah, well, I kicked you back in. I'll see you later. Don't wait up for me. Patricia may, but we got nothing in common. You can't even shoot a game of pool. If that's the way you feel about it, you better hang up. Guess that's the way she felt about it. I hope Danny likes his dress. Well, I don't see why not. He sees you in it every day. Mother. Good evening, Mrs. McGinnis. Won't you come in, Dan? Thank you. Hello. Hello, Abby. Are you ready? I will be in just a minute. Wait till I get my coat. Okay. Mr. Danny Lyons to see Miss Ivy McGinnis. Prepare for a lull. Very funny bit. You expect to win that 50 tonight? We're sure gonna try. Well, you should know a couple of good steps by now. You've been practicing for 300 years. Now, take me, for instance. I'm gonna win that Mazuma tonight, and I ain't had no practicing at all. You going to dance tonight, Mux? Who's your partner? Anybody I know? I didn't know you went in for dances, Muggs. Ah, man, be dexterous. Tonight, you're gonna find out that I can beat you with my feet as well as my hands. Come on, Danny, let's go. Good luck, kids. Be home early. Good night, Mom. Good night. Good, good night, night, Mrs. McGinnis. Have a good time. Don't slam the door, Schlemiel. I'm sorry, Ma. I don't like to be crude like that. But that guy brings out the bad side in me. Did I hear you say you were going to the dance? When did you decide on that? Just now. A little spontaneous conclusion. Hey, Ma, do me a favor, will you? Press the shirt and block this hat. You're not going to the dance in those clothes. No. No, I guess not. Well, how about that outfit I used to wear when I was a choir boy? I'll get it for you. Choir boy. <laughs> Has a laddie 
Good evening, Danny. Hello, Mr. Gendick. I uh, wish you luck in the contest this evening. Oh, thank you. Thanks a lot. See, that band sounds swell, doesn't it, huh? Sure does. Danny, look, I can't believe it. It's Muggs with a girl. I wonder who she is. Muggs, how'd you get here so fast? We had an upper berth on Superman. Well, I'll see you later. Good luck, Muggs. You'll need it. How much you check this hat? That's too much. benefit of you swing shifters, <laughs> uh, that is, those of you who have to go home early, <laughs> uh, we're going to have the amateur jitterbug contest immediately. Now, all those contestants will kindly come up to the table and get your numbers. See, we have numbers to put on your back, every one of you, plenty of them. Come on, folks, up to the table. Dancing alone? Nah. Hey, Glumpy, are you in the contest? Sure. I didn't know you were a jitterbug. Are you kidding me? And the members of my family have been bugs for years. Oh, well, where's your suit coat? Suit coat? Couldn't wear it. It's got a hole in the knee. Hey, look, you got a hole in the have a contest on here. <laughs> hey, if she falls down, she'll be home. Mm, funny guy. <laughs> got this thing just as good as one. What's the use of dancing a couple hours and expending all that energy? Good luck, Mike. I don't need no luck. This thing's in the bag. Yeah? I hope there's a hole in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Your number. I don't like that number. Give me the other one, your boss. No, nope, it's no good. That's my lucky number. Five, five. That's the one. That'll it better be lucky, Mike. Oh, oh, you're being very pessimistic. Okay, boys. Let her go. your old girls. Come on, second front, let's get some milk. Damn, was getting close to fifty dollar time. Who mugs is sure to win.
Too bad, Ivy. I guess they were too good for us. Oh, that's all right. Mugs won anyway. Well, congratulations, Mugs. Thanks. Give me the 50 quick, Stammer. I've told you a thousand times, my name is Clunkhammer, a uh, Clinkhammer. Yeah, yeah, we'll overlook your personal difficulties. Shoot the foodie to me, Snooty. No. I don't like that look in your eye. I'm sorry, kids. What are you sorry about? I won, didn't I? Well, that all depends. Young lady, do you work at the Silver Slipper Dance Hall? Well, in a way. And you get paid for dancing? Yes, I guess so. Well, that settles it. I'm sorry. I can't give you the prize money. Ladies and gentlemen, quiet, please. Attention. Unfortunately, Mr. McGinnis has been dancing with a professional. How did I... you expect me to win with an amateur? I gotta have some personal handicap, don't I? Will you please stop butting in when I'm interrupting? Mr. McGinnis has been disqualified, and the real winners of the East Side Amateur Jitterbug Contest are Danny Lyons and <laughs> Ivy McGinnis. Danny! Danny, we won! We won? Oh, Muggs isn't gonna like this. All right, champions, come and get your money. You're full of perjury, you know that. I won that contest all by myself. I just used the slightest bit of assistance from this young, innocent girl here. Muggs, I told you before, you're disqualified. That means scram. Oh, come on, Muggs. We had fun anyway. Congratulations, Danny, and you too. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Well, half of this is yours, Ivy. Oh, that's all right, Danny. You keep it for a while. Okay. I've been playing second fiddle to you for a long time, Lyons. But you're gonna look awful funny playing a harp. Uh, uh, now, now, no fisticuffs. I did it. Go part your hair, breakaway. All right, everybody dance. And let the arches fall where they may. You had to lose that contest after all that fancy hoofing. Yes, indeed, it was. Why did you learn all those fancy steps? I invented them. You're a real help cut, Pop. You're killer, man. Ah, Danny, congratulations, both of you. That was great stuff. Oh, thanks. thanks a lot. John, I'm sure sorry you got disqualified, Muggs. I never saw anybody look any serious. Oh, cheer up, Muggs. It's all in the family anyway. Well, the drinks are on us. What do you have? I have an orange. Orange. What, what are you going to have, Muggs? I'd like to have a few words with you. There's a lot of little things we gotta discuss. About 50 of them. But I think we better do it in private. Okay, Muggs. Excuse me, honey. I'll be right back. Yeah, he'll be right back. Hey, Jimmy, it's too bad you were disqualified. Professional jealousy. Well, you have kids, Clippy's mine. I already got mine, aren't you? Me too, lemonade. Just make mine water. I'm driving. <laughs> Come on, fork over to 50. You've been holding it long enough. But, Muggs, we won the contest. Technically, yes. Financially, no. You were disqualified. Besides, part of this money is Ivy's. I'll take care of the distribution. Muggs, Danny, what's the matter? You'll go back to your lemonade. It's a little personal matter. Now, come on. Get it on the line. You can't stand to lose, can you? No, I can't. If you don't give me that dough, I'm going to belt you one right on the chin. Now, make what to take. Danny, don't do it. Just because he's my brother, don't let him knock you around. That money belongs to us. My palm is itching and my left is raring to go. If you're gonna get it up, I'll give you one more chance. Okay, Muggs, if that's the way you want it. That's just the way I want it. Half of that's Ivy's, so don't forget. I don't want any part of it. Wait a minute, Ivy. I'll take you home. I can find my own way home. Spoken like a true McGinnis. Well, so long, champ. Hey, uh, Danny, wait a minute. You're leaving the dance rather early, aren't you? Well, I was getting pretty tired. Isn't everyone who take what mugs hands out? I'm not afraid of mugs. I know that. But he thinks you are. Did you ever think of joining another gang? That'd be running away. Not the outfit I'm talking about. They'll be glad to get you. They will sooner or later. 
and you'll be fighting all kinds of bullies. Like mugs? Worse. These bullies are called Japs and Nazis. You mean the army? That won't be running away, Danny. That's real fighting. They tried to get me in 17, but couldn't finish the job. <laughs> there I go, talking about that again. We'll talk it over some more. See you in the morning, Danny. Yes, sir. Good night, Mr. Gendick. Good night. And then I met Mr. Gendick outside. Your father and Mr. Louis Gendick were very good friends. They fought together over in France. I'll bet Pop was a good soldier. One of the best. What are you thinking of, Danny? I'm thinking what a lot of us fellas should have done weeks ago. I'm joining the Army, with your consent. For that kind of fighting, Danny, always. I'm proud to have you go. I wonder what Ivy will think. Do you mean to say that Danny stood there and did nothing about it? Muggs might be a bully and all that, but Danny doesn't even stand up for his own rights. Well, it seems to me that if Danny had a little of what Muggs has, and vice versa, you'd have something. <laughs> you still like Danny anyway, don't you, honey? R-Q-O-P-L-Y-Z. Hello, Glippy. Don't tell me you want to go to work. Work? Just give myself an eye test. Hey, what happened to Danny? You fire him? Danny quit. Quit? What'd he do? Let failure go to his head? He had a special reason of his own. I don't think you boys are going to see him around so much. Okay, I'll play straight. Tell me. Danny's joined a new gang. No gang. Bring him around. I'll rub their heads again and make a bonfire out of him. But this gang's really tough. Tough? That's different. Oh, gang. Muggs ain't gonna like this. And Patrick, how do you make those hangers, Muggs? Just practice, just practice, that's all. Hey, I can remember one time hey, in Chicago. Get a load of this door, I gotta tell you. Listen quietly, listen, listen. Now speak English. Danny's left, he's gone away. What do I care about Danny? Yeah, but he's joined a new gang. What gang? I don't know, Gendix wouldn't tell me. What's Gendix know about it? Nothing. As long as he said it was very tough and they control the whole country. I'm gonna get even with Gendix one of these days. Yeah, he always sticks up for Danny. That's why you never got that job. Tell you what to do. You fellas scatter around, see what you can find out about Danny and his new gang of his, and come back here and let me know. <whistles> What's the matter, you tone deaf? Oh, don't be so gruesome. Hey, Muggs, what is this about Danny? Oh, I'd rather not talk about Nick. it. Nick! <laughs> Hello, Peter, what's the matter? Look, look what they did. Murderers. My parents. What do I do about them? Oh, don't worry, Peter. Go over to the consulate. He will advise you what to do. You mean to say those Nazis just walked in and snuffed out a whole town just like that? Yes. It was no bigger than our neighborhood from Mott Street to this block. Hey, Nick. What's this? What are you doing? Going to school or something? Or oh, this? I'm studying to be an American citizen. You mean to say you ain't a citizen? I soon will be, as soon as I know what's in here. Is it very tough? Mm -hmm. Some of the questions are easy, and others you have to study again and again. I don't see why you have to know all that stuff. That's the trouble with you and a lot of people. You take your citizenship for granted. You should know all these things, just like you know the name of your friends. I know the whole book from cover to cover. Go ahead, ask me some questions. All right. What are the first ten amendments called? Uh, better ask me another question. The book's full of them, ain't it? Oh, if you don't know that, it's no use of going any further. The first ten amendments are called the Bill of Rights. Did you ever read them? Not recently. Well, the Bill of Rights simply means freedom and protection. It has a lot of clauses, but after all and all, it's like the four freedom the president talks about. Well, uh, those people must have kind of missed the boat on that setup, huh? Oh, but they will get those things pretty soon. 
That's why our boys are joining the army. You mean all those fellows used to come in here and shoot pool and, and all those guys that had joined the army, they know all about this Bill of Rights and Amendments? Maybe not. But in their hearts they know. Like you, Muggs. I saw your face when you read that paper. I didn't have to tell you about the Bill of Rights. Americans are born with it in their hearts. And it just has to come out sooner or later. Where are you going, monks? Guess what? Guess what? What? Danny's joined the army. Danny did what? Don't you hear my voice? Danny's joined the army. Maybe he wants to fight now. Yeah, I'm just in the mood. What are you gonna do? Gonna do nothing. Exactly nothing. What's the trouble, Muggs? I've never seen you this way before. What's wrong with me anyway, Ma? Why say that? There's nothing ever wrong with a McGinnis. Everything I do turns out wrong. I'm always making enemies. I don't like to hurt nobody, Ma. I always try to do the right thing. Once in a while, I gotta kick the fellas around the club a little bit, but that's just to show them I'm the leader, that's all. What's the real trouble, Muggs? I want your consent to join the army. What brought this on? Well, Danny's in the army. Strutting around like a peacock in that new uniform is with the brass buttons and everything. Look, Ma, I can beat Danny. I can beat him in anything. I've been beating him all my life. He said, I'll be a captain. I'll be a major. I can still beat him. If that's the reason you want to join, I don't think you'll make a good soldier. Oh, that's not the reason, Mark. There's other reasons. I can't explain them. Just give me your consent, will you? No. Not until you draft it or I think you really want to fight for your country and not just to show Danny up. Muggs never kept you away from Ivy. No, and he won't be able to after tonight. More ways than one. Look, Mom. An engagement dream. It's pretty, isn't it? I know someday you and Ivy would. Does she know? No, I... I didn't know whether to tell Muggs first or... or... Tell Muggs? Get on your feet, soldier. Now you listen to me, Danny Lyons. You're a man now. Sooner or later, Muggs McGinnis is going to find this out. You go and give that ring to Ivy. And forget about Muggs. Thanks, Mom. Wait a minute, you cheated. How can you win a game of solitaire without cheating? At least once. Hey, 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 I seen him, I seen him, I seen him. Quit those semi-hysterics, you seen who? I saw Danny, in his uniform. He even saluted me. Hey, wait a minute. What's the matter? Come to think of it, he didn't have his thumb in the right place. Where was he going? Towards your house. He was, huh? Gonna strut his uniform up in front of Ivy. Where you going? Oh, I'm gonna have a little chat with him, that's all. Wait a minute. With Danny in the army, you can't boss around like you used to. I'm still head man around here. You fellas follow me at a safe distance and you'll find out whether or not I can boss them. Why, Danny! Hello, Mrs. McGinnis. Where did you get back? Well, I got in about an hour ago. Oh, wait till Ivy sees you. Ivy! Why, you look fine in your uniform. I think you've put some weight on. You look splendid. How have you been? Well, Danny, gee, what a surprise. Oh, I, I brought you some popcorn. Oh, popcorn? 
Well, I've heard of boys bringing orchids and candy, but never popcorn. Oh, Mother, please. Well, I suppose you two kids haven't seen each other in a long time, and you want to be alone. Yes, uh, no. But I'll be right back. Uh. In about three hours. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Danny, sit down. I want you to tell me everything you've been doing. It's a long story. Oh, you've got the wrong bag. Well, what's the difference? Popcorn's popcorn. Well, there's a little more in this one. Oh, all right. Good. You know, the popcorn man told me you sometimes find a prize in these. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Gee, it's been so lonesome without you. Why, well, Danny, Danny, look, I found one. You see, what did I tell you? It's just like an engagement ring. What do you mean, like? It is. You put it in there? Uh-huh. That means we're engaged? If you want to be. Oh, Danny, here. Well, how romantic. Ah, Romeo and Cleopatra. Don't be obnoxious. This is no time for compliments. Muggs, I want you to meet your future brother-in-law. Since when are you making the decisions around here? Danny and I are engaged. That's right. I don't know how long this has been going on, but you're disengaged right now. Yeah, and I'll have you both to know. What's the idea, Muggs? This is my house, ain't it? I'll ask the questions around here. Muggs, please. That's out. You'll hurt my arm. Boys are downstairs. They'd like to see you. Besides, I'd like to have a little talk with you. If Ivy can spare you for a few minutes. Come on. No. Oh, okay, Monks. Fine. I'll be right back, Ivy. Do you look rude in that suit? Yes, sir. We really thought you'd join a new gang. No wonder Gettick said your gang had a couple of million guys. And they're all swell fellas, too. All right, break it up. Cut the gab. What's on your mind, Muggs? Oh, nothing much. I just want to stop these boys before they start kissing you. No, I'm still head man around here, and I don't like to see the old gang bust up. So I'm going to give you a chance to get back in. He's in the Army. He don't like our gang. Well, heck, I don't. I still want to be a member. I'll give you a chance to prove that. How can I? Gendick likes you a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, and he'd like you, too, if he gave him half a chance. I'm not interested in the old boy socially. I'm just interested in those new tires he's got. What? You kidding? No, I'm not kidding. And I need you to help me. You want me to help you rob Gendick's? What for? But, though, that's what for. But, Muggs, you, you know... Never mind. You may belong to a new gang, but you're still taking orders from me. Okay, Muggs. Anything you say. Get a hold of Gendick and get him in a conversation. The main thing is to get him waiting in the front of that store. Suppose you get caught. I got an alibi. And fight him or we got an excuse. Just tell him he looks like he needs a glass of milk or something. Take him down to McGillicuddy's. Okay. Take it easy. <whistles> Boys, there goes a chump. <whistles> what are you whistling about? Oh, what brings you around here this time of night? Well, I was sort of strolling and... Uh, I have to get to bed early at camp, so... Oh, oh, just the novelty of staying up, eh? Yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> well, sit down, Danny, and tell me all about army life. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they're sitting down. They must be tired. What's that slug trying to do? I told him to get Gendick out of there. Looks like he's giving you the double cross. Well, if he knows what's good for him, he's going to take Gendick for that walk. Maybe he's trying to save his rubber heels. You're looking well, Danny. The army must be treating you all right. Oh, I've been feeling great. I've only been in a month and I put on 50 pounds. 50 pounds? Yeah. Two in weight and 48 in equipment. <laughs> <laughs> How you like that? Danny turned stool pigeon. So what? Gendix would have caught us anyway. There's only one thing that mixed that deal up. And I'm going to fix that right now. And we're going back to the pool room. I got a date with an eight ball. You ever hear the old maximum business before pleasure? Well, this is old business. Danny? For once and for all. Is the back of the garage all locked up? Well, sure, it's always locked up at night. You know that. I should know it. I used to work for you. Well, I have to be running along now. Good night, Mr. Gendick. Good night, Danny. Drop in again before you go back to camp. I sure will. What's the matter? You got a hole in your memory? I talked to Gendick just like you told me to. Sure, you talked to him. 
you didn't follow my orders, it'd be an important job and you hedged on it. You weren't really gonna rob Gendek. You just wanted to get me in trouble. Still the same old jellyfish, huh? You must be crazy to think I'd help you pull a job like that, especially in these. Look, I'm still head man around here. When I say something, I want it done. I'm sorry, Muggs, but I'm through taking that kind of orders. I think I can still keep you in line. I've been doing it all my life. Here, Beanie. Is she kidding? No, I'm not kidding, Muggs. You've been asking for this for a long time, and now you're finally gonna get it. Well, make yourself nice and comfortable so when you fall, you won't hurt yourself. Yeah, you better be comfortable. Yours, kid. Ooh. Hey! That's good, Muggs! Hey. Watch it, Muggs! Oh. How'd you like that, Muggs? I love it. Well, have you had enough? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that fills the bill. No hard feelings, eh, Muggs? Yeah. I always said the guy that married my sister would have to lick me first, and you've done it. I'm sure glad it worked out this way, Muggs. Well, I'm not glad, but it's all right. Well, we cleaned that place out, and what can we get some more? Yeah, yeah, you know that, you? Know that. Hey, well, look who's looking here! Hey, my guy! Hey, boy, you look great! What are you boys doing? Well, we're taking the scrap metal down to Gennick's garage for the salvage drive. Hey, didn't they get Gennick for the Army yet? Not, Not yet. yet. Well, I'm glad to see you boys, and just close cooperation with the armed forces. Keep up the good work. It's too bad us guys couldn't make it. But we'll be in there with you next year. Yeah. With Danny, Glimpy, and I in there, the war will be over next year. <laughs> take it easy. Good luck. So see you in Tokyo. Tokyo. be Jody. Hey, look. You see what I see? Oh, no, it can't be. Ivy! Salute your superior officer. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Private lines, get in. Yes, ma'am. Boy, ain't this a swell army? Where else could a buck private kiss a second lieutenant and like it? In spite of all my objections, 